In summary, if you lose the pistol round but do get a plant, save on the second round and buy on the third. If you lose the pistol but don't get a plant, buy a tech 9 and armor on the second, and if you lose this round, save on the third and buy on the fourth. Remember that some of the statistics will be slightly off because kills can vary per round. Apply the rules for the team as a whole. Also, this video assumes that you buy Kevlar on a pistol round. When losing the pistol round, the largest factor to decide when to buy is if you get a bomb plant, as they give you $800. The reasoning. First, let's look at what happens if you get a bomb plant on the pistol round. If you do, you'll have $2,650. If you save on the second round and lose, you'll receive a losing bonus of $1,900, meaning in total you'll get more than $3,700, which is our goal. In fact, a lot more. Our goal of $3,700 is for helmet Kevlar and an AK-47, but since you probably want grenades, you'll probably want a bit more than this. If you lose the pistol round without a plan, it seems strange to buy a Tech-9 in full armor. First, we'll go into what happens if you don't buy on the second round. If you save and don't get a plan on the second round, you won't have enough for our $3,700 goal. Since you probably won't get a plan on a full save against SMGs or rifles, 9 out of 10 times you'll have to buy in the fourth round if you save on the second round. Now let's see what happens if you buy on the second round. First, we can all agree that you'll have a higher chance of winning the second round with a Tech-9 in armor, so keep that in mind. If we lose the second round with a force buy, either result on the third round will not give us the money that we want. However, if we save one more round, no matter what happens, we will be able to buy on the fourth round. Basically, most of the time, you'll buy on the same round if you don't get a plan on the pistol round, regardless if you buy on the second round. And since you have a higher chance of winning a round if you buy weapons and armor, we can conclude in most cases it's better to buy on the second round. If you win the pistol round, you simply need to understand the other team on what you can buy. However, in matchmaking, you never really know if the other team is going to force buy, so I would just recommend buying rifles and armor. And if you can't, a strong SMG in armor. SMGs can be useful if you know the other team is saving to get lots of money, but people sometimes force buy at random, so it's sadly risky. Enjoy!